it's great to have all this information in one place instead of specifically looking for one medication dose or one type of assessment you would need to perform in a particular situation. are an amazing resource for students and nurses alike. And in this video, we are going to be going through my top three favorite pediatric apps, and I'll show you pros and cons of each of these apps, how I use them as a nurse, and how I also will have my students use them. And at the very end, I'll also review for you an app that does cost a little bit of money. It's not expensive. I think it's $4.99 on the App Store, but this is also a really fantastic app and um, one of my favorites. But again, we're gonna start with the three that don't cost any money, so you can figure out how to best utilize these for your nursing practice. I will link all these apps for you in the description below so that you can quickly click on them and download these to your phone. But we are going to start with one of my all-time favorite apps, and that is the Peds Emergency Guide app, or Peds Guide for short. This is my go-to app and the app that I have all of my clinical students download at the beginning of their time at clinical with me. And this app is managed by the Children's National Hospital. There are so many things that I love about this app, but let's start with a quick tour of the app. So when you're on the opening screen, you can either filter by your patient's weight or your patient's age and gender. This is really, really nice because you don't have to know an exact weight of your patient to be able to filter through all of the medications and situations inside of the app. I also love that the exact PALS algorithms, the pediatric advanced life support algorithms are inside of the app. Some of the other apps have these algorithms worked into their situations, and this can be really, really helpful, but sometimes it's nice to just to look at the entire algorithm and um, be able to work through those flow charts that way. This app also has an extensive medication library and it's all organized alphabetically instead of by situation. So this makes it really easy to search for a certain medication if you're looking for the dose for that for your patient. I also really love the breakdown of vital signs that this app gives and in the tools that are automatically filtered based on whatever weight or age you put for your patients, it automatically adjusts some of the scoring systems to make it appropriate for that patient. So for example, if you had a three kilo patient or a patient who was five months old, the app would give you the GCS scoring system for a nonverbal patient. This app also has a fairly extensive equipment library where it shows you the approximate size of tubes, um, such as um, NG tubes, ET tubes, chest tubes, things like that for the patient's weight or age that you've selected. One of the things that I don't care for about this app is that you can't get very specific with your patient's dosing. The weight always rounds to the nearest whole number. So if your patient was 3.56 kilos, you would have to round up to four kilos for your patient. Again, aside from this, I really love the Peds Guide app. It is an amazing free resource that, again, I have all of my students download at the beginning of clinical and that I will reference frequently on transports. Let's go on to our next free app, which is a little bit newer for me. I'm still exploring this app, but let's get into the details of that one. The Pediatric On-Call app is an app that is fairly new to me that I know I'm not utilizing um, to its full potential, but there's one component of this app that I've really, really enjoyed using and have found really helpful, and that is the medical calculator section of the app. This med calculator section has a ton of different equations and scoring systems that you can choose from. I haven't counted them all, but there are certainly dozens and probably even into the, into the hundreds. There are a lot of options to choose from. Ones that I will have students frequently reference are the APGAR scoring section, the FLAC pain scale. The other one is the Ballard scoring system, which helps you identify how many weeks your preterm infant is 
is. They also have scoring systems like the Kawasaki disease diagnostic criteria, oxygen saturation index, and glucose infusion rate calculators on here too. Like I said, I love the medical calculator library that's on there, and I've also been exploring the extensive diseases and conditions library that is on this app too. This includes definitions and diagnostic criteria for the disease, as well as different causes and symptoms, and also patient education resources. I have found that this is a really incredible resource for students as they are writing care plans. The last free app that we'll talk about is the Heartpedia app by the Cincinnati Children's Heart Institute. This app contains an extensive library of different cardiac defects and conditions. This includes things like coarctation of the aorta, hypoplastic left heart syndrome, tetralogy of Fallot, Epstein's anomaly, and many, many more. There are several ways that you can use this app, but one of the things that I'll do is to use the illustrations and diagrams to look at the different normal, defective, and repaired hearts. And in addition to these illustrations and diagrams, this app also has a lot of video animations, which are also really helpful. You can view these normal and defective and repaired hearts from a lot of different angles that you control in the app and you can also kind of slice these hearts in different directions too so that you can see the internal structures as well. This app also explains the defects and the internal structures of all of these conditions too. That wraps it up for the three free apps that I think are really, really helpful for students. We will now quickly focus on an app that you have to purchase and that is the PD Stat app. This is by far the most detailed and comprehensive pediatric app that I have used as a nurse. When we go into the homepage of this app, we can see immediately the amount of detail that this app provides for you and that you have four different options how you can filter information in the app. You can either filter by your patient's weight, their height, their length, or by their Braslow tape color. This app has some really incredible tools and scoring systems built in, including um, predictions for ventilator settings based on your patient's age and blood gas findings, a burn size estimator for your pediatric burn patients, a incredibly extensive equipment library with um, different sizes of dozens and dozens of pieces of equipment and tubes and lines that you may need for your patient. It has a pediatric toxicology section and a very extensive peds trauma section as well. While the peds guide app was helpful in that you had the exact PALS algorithms inside of the app. This app is great in that it gives you your PALS algorithms worked into the situations in the app. This means that you'll have step-by-step -step actions based on what type of situation or emergency that you are in. Another thing I love about this app is that all of the information is stored in categories within the app. Instead of having all of your information in separate categories like all of your medications in one section, all of your equipment in one section, all of your PALS algorithms in one section. The information in this app is stored in situational categories. So you can look in one type of situation and see all of the meds you may need to anticipate giving, the severity of the situation, different scores you may have to utilize. Again, this is really beneficial in helping you better anticipate your patient's needs because it triggers other things that you will need to do for your patient, such as additional assessments you might need to perform, medications that you could anticipate giving so that you would need to prepare now, and different scoring systems you may need to use on these patients. It's great to have all this information in one place instead of specifically looking for one medication dose or one type of assessment you would need to perform in a particular situation. I think this app is a fantastic resource, but there are two things about it that I wish were a little bit different, and we will call these two cons for this app. The first is that this app caps you at a patient who is either 12 years old 
or 43 kilograms. Anyone under 18 is for sure a pediatric patient, so it would be helpful if this app went a little bit bigger on the ped spectrum. The second thing that I don't care for about this app is that you don't have the ability to solely go into a medication category and filter out the exact medication that you want. This app has a very extensive medication library that is built into all of the situations within the app, but sometimes it would be helpful if you just need to know one dose to go in some sort of alphabetized list of medications and find what you need, similar to what the Peds Guide app provides. Well, there you have it. You now have three free apps that you can utilize to better care for the pediatric patients that you take care of. And you also have a great app option that's a little bit more of an investment, but that could be a very worthwhile investment for you if you are consistently working with these pediatric populations. Please let me know if you think this video was helpful. If you have found features on these apps that I'm not aware of, be sure to tell me that too. And of course, if you have a pediatric app that you just love, that you think is really beneficial, please let me know that as well. I am always looking for new resources for myself and for my students. Again, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video with your friends so that they can be better prepared to take care of pediatric patients. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss any content from me in the future.